Monster Hunter World is back in the news again because that game is still pretty fantastic and it's getting an expansion next year. Words are hard. My name is Cassius Kent and I like talking really fast. Deep breath. Hi everyone. Today is Monday. I know I usually have discussion videos on Monday, but I want to talk about Monster Hunter World because it was one of my favorite games of this year. I, was, I don't play it as a lot. I just ate a whole bowl of cereal and I'm like hopped up on sugar right now. I'm talking more fast than I need to. I'm sorry about that. Let's slow it down. Let's walk it back. Calm it down. Hi, everyone. Monster Hunter World is getting an expansion next year. It's going to be an Iceborne expansion and it will be introducing a, who would have guessed it, Frozen Tundra. And there are going to be new monsters, one of which is a returning monster that everyone's very excited for. And I'm excited for new people who have never played Monster Hunter before to fight it because Nargakuga was the devil in past games. It's a Nargakuga is basically Toby Kodachi in everything but name, but way more fast, hits way more hard. Can stealth? I only th I think Lucid Nargakuga is the only one that can stealth. But the fact remains, Narga is a real pain in the butt. It's like a fast hitting Tigrex. So look forward to that. It's coming out in the fall of next year, which is a little ways away. But Geralt is going to be in the game. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise Geralt of Riviera. And I'm not sure if the Iceborne expansion will be introducing G-Rank into the series. And if you don't know, G-Rank is basically hyper monsters on crack or tempered monsters on, on crack. And now instead of just tempered monsters being relegated to, or the, the hardest of the tempered monsters being relegated to Elder Dragons is gonna be all the, the monsters in the game hits, hits like fast moving cars. And I am quite excited, honestly. Because while I, I haven't played in a while, I do admit that the games have grabbed my attention since Monster Hunter came out at the beginning of the year. I'll absolutely be jumping back in. There's a, there's an upcoming event in, in the winter of next year, in January, and um, everything's looking great. I'm glad that Monster Hunter is back in the news again because the game is truly fantastic and I feel like it's not going to get the attention it deserves when it comes to Game of the Year Wars and know Red Dead Redemption and, and God of War and Spider-Man are sucking up all the oxygen. And I guess rightfully so because those are fantastic games, but it shouldn't be forgotten that Monster Hunter came out this year. It shouldn't be forgotten that Monster Hunter World was quite a fantastic game. And frequently, Capcom has released a bunch of free updates. The $60 you paid for that game at launch was the only money you had to pay. You sure you could have paid, you could pay for, for appearance changes or emotes, but those things don't matter in, in a game sense. And the game comes with a ton of emotes anyway, but they didn't pay, have you pay for any monsters. All the DLC has been free. All the updates has been free. The Siege of Kuftarot was free. All the monsters added was free, Pickle Joe, all the tempered stuff. Everything they added in the game so far has been completely free and that's a good on them. That's a good move on them. I'm pretty sure that the next year's expansion is going to be paid for. I don't see them doing that for free, but it's probably going to be a 20 to $40 expansion, which I'll probably happily pay again. Maybe I'll just straight up buy the game on PC this time because I haven't done that yet. But that's what I want to talk about today. Just how good a game Monster Hunter World is, how good a game it still remains to be, and how much better it is getting. They've done so much to change the game. They've added so many cool, new, and interesting things to the Monster Hunter franchise. And while I am sad that it won't be coming to the Switch, I'm also elated that it's doing so well. It's one of Capcom's best-selling games, and for good reason. The game is good. They didn't skimp on any of the fan the greatness, and I can't wait for the next mon numbered Monster Hunter game because Monster Hunter World has set the bar incredibly high and everything they learned from world is going to go into five and it's just fantastic and i hope that they continue in this trend of of world i hope they continue of this hyper stylized more realistic than cartoony look of masana i like it a lot i was feeling i was apprehensive at first but once i played it was like yeah this is my uh this is my jam i'm about this i mean it's a monster in the game was gonna be about it anyway but like i played it for a good minute longer than usually than I usually do because I just love Monster Hunter so much. But I've been Cassius Kent. We'll be picking up the Iceborne expansion next year. Probably gonna be talking about it again next year. Would you be are you excited for it? Are you excited for Nagakuga? Have you played Monster Hunter at all? Have you played it recently? I didn't get double cross on the Switch because I just didn't have any time to play it. But I think that this game is going to continue to be fantastic. So let me know in the comments below if you're new here. I release five videos a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my destiny days. I do work retail so sometimes I do miss days. Please understand. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe to really help the channel out. But whatever you decide to do, please enjoy the rest of your afternoon, my friends. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful year. I'm Caffeine Man. Until next time, take care.